Hey all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, first of all, I want to say thank you for all the views and support in my previous video. And if you are enjoying the video so far, please leave me a subscribe. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video where today I'll be using my 70 to 200 millimeter lens to capture some nice POV photography. Let's get into it. As you guys can see on this day of photography, there was really nice sunlight. And although it was windy, but the lighting was soft due to it being golden hour. And for this shot, I captured a cyclist waiting for the traffic light to turn green in front of the bus. And adding on to that, I really like Regent Street because of the way it winds up, kind of like an S-curve. Next up, I took a photo of a man opposite me and he was giving off Christian Bale vibes. Now I used generative fill to remove the people in the photo. Let me know what you think about that usage. Is it cheating or not cheating? Please let me know. We can hit up that street there, mate. The St. James one. Or we can continue that one up to you. It's just that street there. Where well, you want to go down there? We can go down there and then come back out from the arcade. Yeah. Do a bit of a cheeky loop around. What time are you going to be out until like, like 8? Something like that. So 8? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Same. Next up, you can see me tap my friend's shoulder to say that hey look there's a banging shot right there and i want to really capture that there's a gentleman in a hat waiting for the bus and he was behind the glass of the bus stand and i really wanted to capture like some sort of stranger tone vibe kind of thing please let me know if i achieved that in the comments below it's a different perspective your one and my one it's nice okay right now i get it <laughs> Now I focused a lot of attention on this man because I knew that I didn't have much time longer to photograph him because soon he'll be getting onto the bus to go home, go somewhere. But until then I spotted another shot and it was another man across the street waiting for a bus as well. And I thought it was really cool, especially the way I caught the bus in the frame and him at the same time. Now back to the man, I quickly saw him about to step on into the bus quickly got into position and I took the photo. These are the kind of shots that you only have one chance, one opportunity to capture it. So either you take the shot or you completely miss it. At the end of the day, it is your decision to make. Now going back to the guy from earlier, I tried to get a shot with him through the bus window. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool cuts. The reason I actually I want to come down here is sometimes some really nice cuts. I, I, I don't know if you saw my uh, photo of the GTR, Nissan GTR 34 Skyline. Yeah, it was down this street, mate. There's one right there. I can't get, I can't get into the uh, there's one. There's one there behind there. Yeah, we can go to the middle island and get it. Do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want? <laughs> He's not going anywhere for a long while. <laughs> now over here, I captured a really interesting car. Apparently it's a Austin Healey from the 1960s. And it is a car that has been converted into an electric car by a company called Revival Autos. I captured this car in landscape and portrait, along with some other photos of people sitting in the bus. One of the photos in particular I really liked because the lady in the bus seemed really photogenic and the lighting on her face was really nice and dramatic. It's all the same yeah, thing I saw. Yeah, you got it. You got it, man. I'll get the one behind you, the cyclist. It's funny. We're using like the same focal length, so we're thinking the same. 
is funny, right? <laughs> Immediately after taking the picture of the cyclist, I spotted a man walking towards the Pret and I wanted to frame him up in front of the doorway with the yellow lighting behind him. Now here's a architectural shot of a building without the GoPro rolling. I really liked it and I wanted to include it in this video. Too far, man. Next up are a few more shots that I took, unfortunately without the GoPro rolling again and I really liked it because the man is sitting in the cafe drinking coffee and working on his laptop. And an extra bonus picture is another guy wearing a hat and I just really liked his whole outfit. You can get some more man, there's four people coming down. Do you want that alleyway? No, no, that's alright. I was getting this guy looking in the shot. Now I'd like to talk about this shot, but I wouldn't have enough time to explain the next one. The next one is a photo that I immediately spotted. On my left hand side, it was a lady crossing on top into a bar or something. It was like a bridge on top of a alleyway. And honestly, I think that's my favorite shot of the day. Oh, oh shit. But I don't think it's focused on the Kinda, it didn't really matter. It don't really matter, right? No. Now the next shot was pretty tasty. It was a Jaguar from the 60s and I really have a soft spot for these kind of cars. Especially that this one was a convertible and it was in such good nick. But anyway, I took a landscape low angle shot and then after that, I was waiting for the cars to move and I decided to do it as a portrait shot. I zoomed in with my lens so that it is more compressed and no other car is in the frame, apart from the Jaguar itself in the center of the image. And now for the next shot, I knew I wanted to photograph this subject. He looked really cool, like a model, but I was waiting for the right moment because so many people were walking in front of him. And for this kind of moment, you just have to wait. A few moments later. Otherwise, if you give up, you wouldn't be able to get the photo. And I'm glad that I did because I'm happy with how it came out. For this shot, my eye quickly spotted a man inside a shop getting his cigarette out and lighter out and he was about to walk out so I quickly got into position and I took the photo right on the moment that he stepped out of the shot. And with that I leave you guys with my final shot of the video. It is a man stepping out of a shot with a trolley in his hand. Anyways if you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe and share it with your friends. I really appreciate your feedback and please let me know what I could do better next time. For the next video you're probably going to see me away in Hong Kong and Japan as that's my next destination. So I look forward to showing you guys that. See you guys next time.